What up reefing peeps, it's Travis from Cywar Reefing. In this video, I unbox my second shipment of frags from Worldwide Corals. After the awesome frags in the first shipment, I can't wait to see what's in this one. First is an ad for Reef of Palooza in Orlando, which I absolutely plan on attending. Next, we've got a few business cards. Then the information sheet on what to do if there's loss. After that is the acclimation guide. I absolutely love how this is illustrated. It's really well done, I think. Next is the packing list. Then, a thank you card with the list of corals that were shipped. Now comes the fun part. What's in the box? First is a small bag of swag, which has a Worldwide Corals coaster, a Worldwide Corals air freshener, a Worldwide Corals sticker, a Worldwide Corals koozie, which will be great for the boat and some Brightwell Aquatics Coral MD. Now, let's get to the main event. The first one out of the bag is the Neon Bird's Nest. Second is the Madman Acro. Third is the Overlord Platy. Fourth is the Superman Monty. And last is the Sunny D Zoas. Now, we've got to get these frags acclimated. So this is where I kind of screwed up. By the time I got done shooting the unboxing, it was getting late into the afternoon. I had some place to be that night, and like a big dummy, I rushed the acclimation. All the frags made it through fine, except one, the Madman Acro. I paid the price, and I learned a tough lesson. I woke up the next morning, and it had RTN'd overnight. I was actually shocked at how fast it happened. Of course, I was upset about it and I knew it was completely my own fault. A few weeks later, my family and I were in Orlando at Disney for the weekend. On the last day, it started raining and we left the park early. On the way home, we swung by Worldwide Coral's retail store, which I had never been to. I was actually surprised at how small the store was. I had this grand delusion that it was this huge warehouse full of corals, but it wasn't. When I entered the store, I told the guy working behind the counter that I had ordered some corals from them and that I wanted to get a replacement for an acro I had acclimated too quickly and lost. So they looked up the order and found out what acro it was. I told the guy I wanted to purchase the same frag to replace the one I killed. He said sure, went back, bagged it up, came back to me and said here you go. I was like okay how much? And he said don't worry about it. I was like no, it was my fault, it didn't die in shipping. I messed up when I acclimated it. He said, I know, don't worry about it. I was shocked. They could have easily charged me for it. And I was willing to pay. But again, just like last time, Worldwide Coral's customer service was way beyond what I expected. The new frag is alive and well in my tank now. And this time, I didn't rush the acclimation. In fact, all the corals are doing great. The Sunny D's, the Overlord, the Superman Monty, and the Neon Bird's Nest. Again, the corals in this shipment were top notch. And just like last time, the customer service was outstanding. Unfortunately, the next box will be my last for the order. But I think I may do this again at some point if they run another deal on the Coral Club. If you like this unboxing video, hit that thumbs up. And don't forget, we've got one more delivery to go. So. If you want to see more coral unboxing videos, make sure you subscribe. Until next video, stay salty, Reef and Peeps.